This podcast is brought to you by teacherjobfairs.org. Okay. Now, what about a, a recent graduate, somebody that's just uh, graduating and they will start getting their their teaching license, but they don't have it yet? Um, do they should they wait until they have the license? And no, would, they, you, would you give them a try even if they don't have experience, but they have uh, majored in education, for example? Yeah, and th that's such a, gr a great question because we are uh, uh, we just started to really launch our college re recruitment uh, strategy here and in, in, in looking for um, those new grads. I would, my, my advice them is, would be to go to our website and apply now, um, especially knowing like a lot of the uh, a lot of the teachers programs uh, allow the students to move forward and have their certification by the time they graduate or allow them to obtain a provisional license which um, many of our school districts will accept also um, and I think like why our program makes the most sense now for if you think about a new uh, a new educator that, that's freshly co coming out of college um, they have actually learned how to teach during the pandemic so you know a lot of the programs were quickly able to switch kind of like switch gears and like have different platforms and tools and resources to understand uh, students uh, to get students to understand and learn how to teach online and so like they, they definitely would be viable candidates, um, if not now, even like in, in the future, as our demand uh, keeps in increasing, our, our opportunities become more available. Okay, <clears throat> okay. So if I'm a, I'm graduating, um, I'm getting my license. I don't have experience. It's still okay to apply. It's definitely something that you guys would consider um, as an opportunity for them. I would, and in just kind of understanding uh, many of the great uh, education programs out there. Um, I feel that, that a lot of them, and we, we've seen this already, a lot of them do a really good job of getting uh, of, of getting uh, uh, new teachers pre prepared. I mean, I, obviously, like, you're always going to have a learning curve uh, with, with, with teaching. It, it's a profession where, where you, you're continuously learning and like continuously growing. One of the things that we do have in 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 store is a, a really good level of support for not just like our new teachers, but also like our, our experienced teachers too that may be a, a little bit new to like uh, a virtual platform. And so we do, we have built in supports around our educators to be successful on, on our platform for sure. Okay, and for those um, university students that perhaps are not graduating. Um, in the next months or in, within the next, you know, six months or so, uh, we highly at uh, Teacher Jobs we highly recommend that they get um, internships or they get some experience in the classroom, even as volunteers. Uh, is, is that something that, in, from your perspective, from the recruitment perspective, looks good in a resume? For Absolutely. Absolutely, and you know, uh, I'm I'm gonna tie that to the, your your first question you you asked me of um, not knowing and like ch checking the box of like not knowing what what I I wanted to do. Um, I would take advantage of the opportunities for or thought about the opportunities for uh, in internships and just thinking about like how how much more impactful that would have been in like helping me uh, uh, navigate my, my career, giving me the confidence and the experience to me uh, to be. More, more successful earlier. So I, I'm a huge proponent and advocate of uh, internships that, that absolutely look, look great on, on a, a resume. And you can really, in an interview, speak to experiences that you have that relate to the job that you're um, applying for. Absolutely. Yes, it's definitely, when I'm asked, it's definitely the, the number one advice I, I give to students, university students, is whatever your major is, Go and try it while you're in mm -hmm. school because you may like it, you may hate it. I have a person that I mentor. She was a um, finance major and she went and did finance. She hated the experience, did not like it. She changed her major the, the last year and um, <clears throat> it was only because she was able to experience it through in person, actually working at a company. So mm -hmm. definitely for future educators, um, I, we highly advise that you do get internship opportunities, even as volunteers at nonprofits or at school, so you have that hands-on experience and you can see if it's something that you're going to like or not. Do you yeah. guys have at iTutor any um, internship opportunities yet, or is that something that you guys perhaps will consider in the future? 
we definitely are considering those uh, considering those opportunities in the uh, uh, future, um, and should uh, have those opportunities up on our website here over the the next couple of months. We we did run an internship program uh, last year as a as a pilot and saw a lot of success in there. And so like we we've taken the last couple months just to kind of like really think through. Uh, what were what, what were the gaps and like be able to solve for those gaps and and, and looking forward to bringing some awesome interns in again uh, hopefully uh, over this summer as well. Perfect. Let me know when you launch the internship program. I would love to hear about it and Absolutely. share it with people listening. Now uh, let's go back to your career path. So, in my experience, I have been in recruitment for over twenty years. It is a sales job. Um, you can call it whatever you want, but it is sales. You have to convince people to work for your company, the company you're representing. You have to convince them why you're a better employer than all the other employers they're probably interested in working for. For your personal path um, in recruitment, what would you say your challenges and perhaps the best experiences have been during your career? Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, uh, to address the challenges first, like uh, teacher recruitment is, is just a, a huge challenge. I think there's a lot. Well, I know there is a lot of uh, negative press uh, in terms of uh, the state of education, uh, the the role um, in the career of, of teaching, which um, I think like prevents uh, a lot of individuals of wanting to enter into the uh, profession. So like I, I find myself having to do a lot of story storytelling um, about the joys of teaching, right? Um, um, I, 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 so that's your sales pitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of my, uh, of my, my, my sales pitch. And I think kind of to, to your point earlier, um, being able to, to be inside of a classroom and like experience that, like I, I can speak to the challenges, but also like be able to speak, speak to the joys um, as well. One of the things I think that's worked well for me is not, I don't think we do, a, we don't do a great job in terms of like te teacher recruiters of really like being able to outline a career path for, for uh, teachers that, especially teachers that are like entering into the uh, profession. Um, I think that that's another lane for me that I can kind of like model myself and then like and, and be able to uh, share stories of like how my career has progressed um, be at, at becoming um, an educator, but also like really like outline like what that could look like for them based on like their interests and like what they want to do with their uh, career um, as well. And so um, I think like th those are the things that like really like motivate me when I'm having conversations with like a new grad or someone or, or, or a, a, new, a new teacher, just really understanding like their why, like why are, why out of all professions are you looking to be, become uh, a teacher and really being able to connect the dots for them um, and then show them uh, that uh, a, a career in teaching can be rewarding um, and, 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 and also like exposing like why the, the need is it's so much in, in demand and like the impact that you have uh, on the impact and influence that you will have on students. Good. Now, Marnie, are you still, I, I know you mentioned at the beginning of the um, of our conversation that you want, you always wanted to become a vice president or higher and as a recruiter. Is that still your goal for the future? I don't know. Like I'm in a weird space right now where I'm like I'm, I'm really like learning so much with uh, iTutor and like really getting exposed to like the the tech world I haven't really thought about like what's the next step in in my career because I'm, I'm again like I'm just learning so much about different uh, opportunities uh, I really want to I really want to be in this role for uh, a little while while, while learning because uh, not only do I have a, a lot of room to grow as a leader like we just have like so much opportunity and room to grow as a team and given the things that we've been able to build like so quickly, the opportunities uh, to, to really find uh, strong pipelines of, of teachers and like getting them into ed tech uh, um, as well. Um, I want I, I want to do do well at this and like make my mark here and like for, um, be able to like be involved with like a few different projects that we're, we're working on now. And so like that could be something in in the future. But but again, like who who knows with the opportunities that we, we currently have and like the things that I'm learning like in in, in this role. Well, I think you're in the perfect uh, yeah. sector right now. I think the online uh, tutoring sector is definitely here to stay. It's the future. It's growing. 
So even if you're, you still have that, that drive to become vice president or higher, mm -hmm. this is definitely the sector and the company to, um, to stay with because um, I do see iTutor as, as growing and hopefully it will expand as well. Oh, um, yes. Uh, so for those of you graduating or thinking you know, of what type of career path, hopefully listening to Marnay, you got a small sample of what it's like to recruit, uh, what, how he became a director or recruiter at a technology company uh, from starting as a re in recruitment, going to the classroom, then making his way back to recruitment and now a director level. It is definitely a challenging career path. Uh, recruitment is difficult, but it has a lot of fulfillment as well. Personally, in my industry, I get fulfillment when I see teachers and they get to call me or they send me an email saying they were able to get a job. Um, you know, a job for all of us, it means stability, financial and emotionally in our families. And we definitely do make a difference. So if this career path is um, something of interest, do look at um, getting internships. And if you are a teacher or you are graduating, look at itutor.com as a possible employer. Just give it a try, do your uh, demo video. Um, I highly suggest that you film it and refilm it and practice until you get that outgoing personality and you get your real personality out in, in video and apply with them. Uh, their website again is www.itutor.com. You can also look at teacherjobfairs.org for career opportunities. They have posted uh, their job postings at our website and they have also attended and will continue to attend our virtual teacher job fairs. You can interview with them directly online. Thank you so much, Marnie. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Please keep us posted of um, your uh, internship program and what you guys do at iTutor. I would be very um, happy to see any updates that you might have.